Previously on Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. You forced my hand. You made me go back and choose it. So then I came back and did it. So it creates this fucking time paradox thing where like, because I did that thing that I didn't do, but I did do it, and then I did it, did it, do it, and did it, did it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And now back to the Nonary game. The Amidex gates have closed. Round three. Star keys are required to open the gates. There okay. is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Oh, okay. As many times as we want, huh? Oh, alright. As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. Didn't what? Zero Jr. say something about that? As soon as the game's close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! Here and solo beside the top around a bit too. Where do I get? Oh yeah. Where are your braces, guys? Looks like I'm um, oh, red. We start off with blue, right? So yeah, I guess it makes sense. I'm a yellow and now I'm red. I'm a I'm magenta a pear. <laughs> Damn right you got a pear. I mean what? Me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm all alone. There's nobody here beside me. My troubles are all gone. There's nobody here to revive me. But you gotta have friends. <laughs> Sorry. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Y yeah. <laughs> She's so upbeat. Who's gonna be my partner then? I'm a cyan pair. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pair. <laughs> Huh? Wait a second. Blue and clover and magenta pair. I the cyan and yellow pair. Where, uh, who the hell am I supposed to partner up with? The cyan pair, I imagine. Vi and her mysterious partner. How do you figure that? Sigma, what colors are added together to create cyan? Uh, green, blue, right? What color would you get by adding your red to that? Red, green, blue would be Exactly. White. Uh, so you're saying the next set of chromatic doors are going to be white? Red, green, and red. Oh, okay. Yeah, we actually saw them. They are white. Red, green, and blue. Is that what... So that gives us. Wait, I'm sorry. I, uh... Yes. How do you know? Because I have seen them. Ne After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand a little bit now. So there, there are, it's like, in that, in the different timelines, when I pull the lever, and there's like three different doors, not necessarily going to go to the same places that the other people went. So, like, we didn't go to the lab. That was, that was in the second round, right? Dude, this, this game is fucking me up right now. This is just... I need some, I need some, I'm going to need some serious, serious therapy after this is over. In it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, I saw them too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. Okay, okay, we don't need to see. <laughs> I hate these stupid. It's like, let's watch the dot move across the screen. Do, do, do. They had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure they're the next chromatic doors. What about the people back in the infirmary? Do they know about the white doors? Yes. If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. What are the color what colors they are? As far as pairs go, we're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Hmm. 
Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. I'm kind of worried about Alice and Quar. I'll go too. As will I. Oh, it's right. Wait, guys. There's something I need to tell huh? you. What is it? Go on. I missed something earlier, but... I guess there's so much other stuff going on. I found another bomb! Right? I looked at Fi. She nodded back. See, the truth is... We're all gonna die. <laughs> what? Oh no! You found another bomb? Yeah. Where? In the garden. No. That's not possible. We didn't see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No! No way! We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There's a number on this one, too. It said one. Since we found the one in the cruise quarters, it said three on it. You well, think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? I think there's a good chance. Very well. We should split up and find this other bomb. It could be anywhere. Yeah, I agree. But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. Alright, I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here, just in case? The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see... Quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. Good. Let's go. And now let's watch the dot go across the screen. Watch the dot. Do, 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 do. Wish I could skip this song. Okay. Now we're into the... F Memento Mori and the... D damn it. So these are the red doors of Clay and Clover we're talking about. Yeah, there's the luck thing. No question, these are the chromatic so doors, it seems. Ah! What, when did you- I've been here the whole time. Seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh. Oh no, are you gonna kill me now? I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. What? <laughs> what was that? So what do you want? Why are you stalking me? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you how did you do it? You're totally sad. Are you bat <laughs> are you Batman? I already told you I'm not. <laughs> uh, where's where's the Joker? Remember? Back in the A B room when we met? Yeah, actually. <clears throat> Oh yeah, those are super high, all the way to the ceiling. Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? Graffiti. Mento Mori in the in the ninth ninth lion ate the sun. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Oh yeah, that. Mento Mori the lion ate the sun. Did you write that or what? Why do you say that? Because. I just spelled nine wrong. Who was an E in there? You're right. Again, yeah, maybe it means something. Hmm. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. Hey, now, give me a little credit. Even I know what Mentimori means. You see it all over the place. As far as I remember, it translates something like beware of death or remember your mortality. Never forget that we all die, we'll die someday. This is a cautionary thing. What about the other part? Say what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of conditional about lines and suns. Hmm. Mm. Huh. 
Oh, I remember we saw the symbol the in the fountain in the garden of the lion and the sun, right? It looked like it was a lion and it looked like a sun, so that's probably referring to that, right? Anything in the back? No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Me? Uh, huh. Let's see. That's a more than I find like some. I repeated the words over in my head, but nothing. Whatever they meant, it was beyond me. Perhaps Phi. Huh? What? Do you know Len? Figure out, figure out work. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. How'd you know that phrase? Left some miscarriage. Oh, that. That's from, um, this. She unpinned the brooch of her, from her chest as she spoke and held it out to me. I said for a moment and then took it. Put the back. <laughs> Turned it over. Oh. Left some hoot doodly bit of So I guess the eyes just like a J Latin. Yeah. What a is memento this? of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently it was the only thing my mother had left behind. I don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything else to say as I was handing her back the brooch. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elopsum <laughs> simel occasionum non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But it seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. <laughs> hmm? That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this alone. Yeah, <laughs> our <laughs> time travel abilities. There's I something agree. else we need to do too, though. Find the number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So. You're saying we should go somewhere else? Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Not waiting for a flash, turn and start toward one of the exits. I followed. Alright. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen here. I just. Yeah. Back to the archives again. <laughs> the archives, good place to have a bomb. Where the hell do we start looking? I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. So what about that Jupiter stuff? We can talk while we look. Now get started. Turn to a corner and began to look while Vi spoke. I'll start with a conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. <clears throat> no, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. It's more like we move through worlds. World? Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. <laughs> what? Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? <laughs> it's like Chrono Cross. Well, yeah. Okay. I think I've heard it once or twice. Mm. Like every decision we make is like a new world or oh, something. Oh, well, I'll just explain it. Let's say... Mm, I don't care what it is. But could you move? Huh? Scratch your head, cross your arms, 
Put your hands on your hips. Anything? I had no idea what this what this was supposed to explain, but I I did she asked. Uh okay. Put hands on hip. Applaud others. <laughs> Cheer, blow a kiss, tap dance, moonwalk. Oh, I gotta fucking do this. I'm moonwalking, baby. <laughs> Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Was that supposed to be moonwalking? Yeah, how was it? <laughs> I'm pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you <laughs> might want to try going backward next time, not forward. <laughs> We've been looking. I was going backward. Watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> anyway, you just did the moonwalk, right? <laughs> yeah! Right. But you could have chosen to scratch your head or cross your arms. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Whoa. That's deep, dude. Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off, on and on into infinity. Each of those branches is an alternate world. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if... What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things? Anyway, that's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. Doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature, all these can change history. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second here. Well, the microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? What? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further. And you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms or electrons or smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision? No, my god. <laughs> this is blowing my mind right now. At that level, how different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. That's where universes branch out. Whoa, dude. Just totally blew my mind, man. Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Just, uh... Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? Never mind, don't answer that. <laughs> I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm, let's see. Hey, hand me that box, will you? Uh, this one? Sure. Hand the box I'm ex I've been examining over to her. Sit down the desk and open the top. Also... Hmm. Ah. ah! There's a stuffed lion over there. And it's holding his son in its mouth! Hey, isn't that like something we saw just not too long ago? Perfect. He's part of Felidae, too. 
V-Day. With that, she grabbed the line and tossed it ceremoniously into the box. She also took a, took a weight in an ink jar and put them in the next to the line. All right. Everything's ready. Ready? Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Oh yeah, we saw in the other timeline, right? Did we, wait, did I see it this timeline? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Which timeline am I in? No, we didn't see it this one. Okay. Anyway, come look at the box. We're well, looking for the- So only take a minute. Now look. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm sniffling. I was working in the yard today and kicked up a lot of- oh, A lot of dust and pollen and stuff. And really got my allergies going, so. Shrug and peer into the box. What do okay. you see? Well, there's stuff lying. From now on, that's a cat. <laughs> a living cat. Okay. This is important. Got it? Uh, Alright. Yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat, meow. Oh, man. <laughs> this again? <laughs> Sorry. I can't help, I can't help it. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Ugh. <laughs> oh, fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. <laughs> for, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, what else do you see? A way of the snake, a snake in pond, <laughs> and a jar of it. Right. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material. And the jar of ink <clears throat> is full of poisonous gas. Whoa, okay. What? I'm kidding out of here! <laughs> <Idiot>. <laughs> It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. <laughs> Imagine that it's full of gas. Imagination. <laughs> so, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. It's full of poison gas. Exactly. All right, all right, I got it. I got it. Good and work. That's a kitty. Now, <laughs> there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. And pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. <laughs> Obviously, you can't shake it either. Come on, kitty! Speak to me, kitty! It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? Uh, breaks. I guess was the box. Cat nails it, and, and death will whisker it away. <laughs> and what if the jar doesn't break? <laughs> the cat lives to tell the tale. <laughs> uh -huh. And what are the chances of either of those uh, things happening? About 50%. Uh-huh. So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? Um... Okay, is pause for dramatic effect. Alive! Nope. You're wrong. It's dead. That's wrong too. Then what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. What? How does that make any sense? It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities, 
Then it's both alive and dead. Right. So, let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. <laughs> what a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. <laughs> Meow. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. So there's another world out there where this cat died? Yeah, that's the idea. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Uh, yeah. Well, your story's pretty insane. insane. You don't think so? Just the yeah, idea of something being alive and dead at the same time. If the moment the lid is open determines whether or not the cat's dead, then it's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? What are they talking Think about? Think back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose Betray, what was my vote? Ally. And what happened this time? I chose Ally and you chose Betray. Right. And both times, I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the deadline. I see. Well, that makes us a little easier to explain. If you chose Betray, then my vote was Ally. If you chose Ally, then my vote was Betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? <laughs> my choice in the future altered your action in the past. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Boom, my head explodes. Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. <clears throat> now that I thought about it, round one had been the same. <laughs> when I chose an ally, Alice had chosen Betray. And when I chose Betray, she'd done the opposite. Look at this die. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. <laughs> she said, she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lid. All right, answer this question. What number is the die on? Could it be two? Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Hey! Good job. You got it right. Huh. That was just a fluke. Or did I? Or was it? Was it? Hmm. Huh? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Two. Two, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? The die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Wait, so you're saying that before you opened the lid, the die was on all the numbers? Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. And then when you opened the lid, it was just one number. Or, it might have become that number when you declared which one it was. Huh? Wait, wait, what do you mean? Your <laughs> choice in the future has an effect on the past. That's fucking bananas! Jesus Christ, this shit is fucking... I don't know what is going on anymore. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Hope you learned something. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches for each and every possibility. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. 
Whoa, dude. I think I'm get it. I think I get it now. I say you knew my name, right? You jumped in from another world. I say you knew all those other things you shouldn't have known. Yeah. That's the best I can figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. So when someone asks us how we know X, what we can say is I just... Is to say is I just yeah. think. So when the next time I jump, will they remember this situation? Who's causing this then? I don't remember even never doing this before, so why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just... Just what? Well, I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? <laughs> you aren't kidding, are you? <laughs> Maybe there's some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right now. <laughs> what if you've got it backwards? backwards? We're outside of the box. And the rest of the world is inside. And the moment we step out of this place... Yeah. We might be determining the history of the world outside. No way. Right? Dude, this made my head hurt. I had a thousand other questions before I could open my mouth to ask them. Shit started Oh, going. good! What, what? There you are! Did something happen? Yes! We found it! Found what? A bomb too? What do you mean, what? What else could we find? The bomb! The other antimatter bomb. The number two bomb is in the control room. Oh, uh, we were just in there. Ah, uh, okay, so this is... Okay, now have, I, now have I jumped to the other little blurb timeline thing? No, I'm still in this one part. What the hell? When am I getting to the next section? Is this it? Yeah. This is one of them, all right. And it's number two, apparently. At least we found them all now. No. Maybe. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Great. Did you tell anyone else about this, Clover? Well, um, not really. But, uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Who's in the infirmary? Everyone. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Clark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. Somebody else here, though. Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. <laughs> what about Alice and Quirk? They're the same. Still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. That's good. He's not dead, I guess. Found I looked at one another and let out a small sigh of relief. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It took her only a moment to explain. Alice was green solo. Quark was blue solo. And Dio's... Dio's wrist made him a yellow pair. And Temioji was a scion pair. So what are our options for... for the groups? next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. So, fly away what that would mean. Option A, if I and Temioji's... Temioji's, uh, Sam would pair with me red. Okay, and Dio, yellow, would pair with Quark blue. And Clover and Luna, magenta, would pair with Al green. Huh? There's only one option? Yeah. Any other combinations don't make white. 
Oh, okay. What about Alice in court? So I guess we're going with Tammy OG. Lucy's gonna be well until they wake we'll up. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them... Yeah, we'll get penalized. Wait, we right? I didn't misread that, right? Fi yeah, find Timmy OG. Okay. Just make sure. Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Are you seeing Gary here? Yeah. Well, I can get Luna to help me. Just told her by her boobs and drag her along the floor. <laughs> True. I'm sure she'd be happy to help. Uh, Luna's happy about everything. She's. <laughs> Let's all do our best! Look what. He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. Yeah. Quirk, carrying Quirk, not a big deal. Carrying Alice, that might be a little bit of a pain. Well, we still need to figure out what we're going to do with this bump. This bump. That's what we should be safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe, but we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is going to get fried. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? What are you talking about? The bomb should only have about as much explosive power as a ton of TNT. There's nothing to sniff at, but there's nowhere near the kind of yield you're talking it about. It could be. What if these bombs are just, like, the detonator? Oh, oh! <laughs> I mean, there might be a bunch more hydrogen around here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, no, Mr. Octopus, no. Tell me the answer, Mr. Octopus. You must find your own path, Nico. Find your own path. Damn it, Mr. Octopus, you suck. No, you suck, Nico. Damn it, are you a fight? Bring it on! I got eight hands! Whatever. <laughs> Only eight chances to fail. Boom! Okay. <laughs> yep, the right reactor. Here. Yeah. Ooh. There are supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti-hydrogen. How much is a lot? Three and a half kilograms. Three and a half? <laughs> three, what, 21 gigawatts? That's like 10,000 times more than Alice's 350 mi milligrams. If there really is that much. And if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That would be... That would fucking... That would create an explosion so big, you could see, you would see probably fucking, like, in space. You could see the damn, like, crater from space. No, that's... That's insane. Like... How do you get that much anti hydrogen anyway? Wait. Clover, how did you know that? Know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um... Well, that's, uh, during my training, they... Training for what? Uh, my job? Uh, of course. I didn't realize what... <laughs> Winners these days need to memorize how many uh, operational antimatter reactors are wor worldwide. Oh, of course. It makes complete sense, <laughs> right? Fine. Yeah, she agrees with me. Oh, my God. I mean, I remember when I was a busboy, I used to memorize, like... I don't know, like, how to fucking... Uh, create a rocket out of... Uh, diesel fuel and uh, plutonium and <laughs> just just give it a just give it a rest. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. All right. Um. Uh. uh <laughs> you lost it. You lost it, Sigma. How much fuel is one of those reactors might be storing? You don't work at a cafe, do you? Even though you <laughs> you work at a strip club, don't you? Did you hear about that from Alice? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, um, she's right then. Why are you using antimatter reactors at a cafe? That's, uh, what we call the coffee machines. <laughs> what? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. Are you sure You work for the CIA? And you're dressed like that? What? Then what's your real job? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. CSCIA. Why not? It's classified. Let's move by who? The government? 
The government? That's right. I said it was their job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. Uh, so you two do work together. Uh, oh no! Check your bracelets. How much time do we have left? What are you talking about? How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! Alright, we've been kind of dicking around for a while. Damn. We should have been up five minutes ago. I'm heading back then. Remember, yeah. we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Bye! Hey! You haven't... Damn it! Damn this blood. One day we'll find out. And she's gone. But She's right, you know. We need to get Hold on. I need to check something really quick. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, okay. What's she checking? Oh, there you are. You're late. What were you doing? Nothing. Ma making out. <laughs> that would be really funny since I'm going to say that. You know, just making out. <laughs> you should have been there, Luna. <laughs> Why should I have been there? So you could have joined in. Oh, yeah. When we were, <laughs> were going to ride, everyone else is already back. Hey, look at Dio. He's up. Dude, you got your shit robbed by an old man. <laughs> Quirk and Alice hadn't left, of, left, of course. We're both sleeping soundly. Any traces of the madness we'd seen earlier have long gone. Maybe what's that beat in this part? Clover told us. I can go back and, uh, see the, uh, other, the other path or whatever. You've seen the bomb in the control room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with our own eyes. What the, the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. Oh. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Maybe it's that thing I found I was using earlier for that puzzle, you remember? <laughs> Had the word test on it. Obviously the password is test. Then we can or enter not. the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. I nodded and pulled it out of my pocket. That was in the safe in the control room. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I forgot about that. My, I, I forgot about my Blackberry pager. <laughs> my Blackberry. Dude, does anyone have a Blackberry anymore? Oh, man. I remember back in the day. Back in the day. By which I mean just a few years ago. <laughs> Exactly. I have any idea what it was at first, but I figured it out. After Clover left, we tested it. Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. Couldn't get to do anything, do anything though. Plugged in a couple of random characters, so like I was an error. Still, I'm sure this is the thing Alice was talking about. We just didn't have the right password. <laughs> no, hopefully it isn't, uh... <laughs> This is actually like, no, we're actually not uh, deactivating, we're setting it off. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the nonary game, right? So why would he set bombs? Maybe he wants to blow this whole place up if someone commits some crazy violation of the rules? That doesn't make sense. Our bracelets already have poison in them. If someone breaks a rule, all he has to do is activate their bracelet. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Look at Clover. I'm posing. Woo! <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing what Ten Miyoji's doing. 
Hey, so, stop copying me. No, you stop copying me! Damn it all. I wish I had boobs. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say, Demi? No, nothing. Mm. Well, whatever the case is, it's getting weird. there's one thing we can be sure of. The person who set these bombs is one of us. <gasps> Whether or not that person is also Zero Senior isn't particularly relevant at the moment. If that, this, this was Down Garden Ropa. This is when the, it, this is when the music was coming. <laughs> da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> I'm so used to it in the other game. I was actually half expecting it. But what is relevant is that they know the deactivation password. If we can figure out who that person is and question them, we can get the password and turn the bombs off. Exactly. That would be my quick and easy method. So fess up. Which one of you set the bombs? Well, I'm sure they wouldn't just tell you. I mean, they set the bombs for a fucking reason. Not that I expect you to do that. So, we're going to be checking everyone. Checking us? Yes. Once they're set, the bombs are controlled by a remote. It stands to reason that whoever set them has that remote. So you're gonna search us for it? Yes. But, no buts. If you refuse, that implicates you. Do what I say and you'll be fine, assuming you are actually innocent. Understand? No reason to wait. Let's get started. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? Oh, me, 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 no. me. I'm gonna get patted down first, come on. Pat me down, pat me down. Lower. Lower, Fi! Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Too low! Lower. <laughs> Wait. Huh? You only searched one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. What? I'm still in the freaking. What? I don't understand. Like, this is freaking bananas. Why is it taking so long? I, I knew who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I even realized I was saying them. What the hell? Whoa! How can you. Remember Morphogenic Fields, the shit we were. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat? Meow! There's no way. Yeah. I met Fi's gaze and nodded and then turned away. I knew who said the bombs. A person. Trigger's cat. Uh, 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 what the hell is happening? Uh, 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 I'm having a seizure. <gasps> person. That person. You did it. You. Uh, oh no. Who was, who was Sigma pointing at? Will it be... Will it be a slutty clover? The devious Dio? The old man ten Muji with the falcon punch? The big titty Alice? The... <laughs> the cinder block headed quark? Or K in the mysterious armor? Or maybe even Fi? <laughs> Find out next time on Dragon Balls... I'm sorry, okay. I think you've already made that joke at the last... I know, but I... I... I was, I was, no one remembers that series. I remember that. The room was suddenly silent. Uh. Uh. Oh, you better not. No! Damn it! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you. Fuck this! No! <laughs> god damn it! I went. I, as soon as, I was like, oh my god, is it really gonna cut me off? No! First, I gotta find out. It was you, Ace. Damn, how did you find me? How did you know? <laughs> First, like, I pull off. I go to Clover. No, it was. It was. It wasn't Clover. It was. I pull a mask off Clover. <laughs> Ace is there. Damn, how did you know it was me? Because there's no way Clover had grew boobs that size. Damn, my. <laughs> I overcompensated myself. Damn it. <laughs> well, you're too late. <laughs> the bombs are planted. We're all doomed. Doomed. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Nico's version of the. That's the Nico's version of this game. Damn it! Look, I'm right there. 
Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait, what was this one again? Okay, I've already made so many choices that I've already forgotten. Oh, that's right. There's a point where I can decide, do I want to go with fi or not? And that's the not. This goes on. This one goes quite... Damn, this goes freaking forever. Although it'll probably get locked again at some point. And, oh my god, this, this is a long fucking game. Look how many different fucking things there are. This is going to take me forever. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. The different endings. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess the next time I'll do this one where I don't decide not to go with Fi. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Jesus, this is crazy. Okay. Anyway, we're here for now. Like for future this video. Subscribe now. Hop away the SLP. With the days always sunny and the vids are always funny. Hope you all are still enjoying the series. I really think it's cool. I. You know, it's. I mean, it's a lot like, probably even more of a mindfuck than nine nine nine. Cause like, I don't know. I feel like nine 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 towards it was like towards it wasn't until really till the end of the game that it started really getting like mindfucky with the morphogenic fields. Like we were talking about them, you know, but there wasn't a whole lot of like, you know, you weren't really probably thinking so much about. Oh yeah, morphogenic fields totally totally applies to the situation, you know. Um. You know, and I, I feel like it wasn't really to the end where all of a sudden shit starts getting. This is kind of like right from the get go. This stuff is already crazy. Look, I've got so much stuff left, and I'm still like, this stuff is getting just crazy. So, anyway, uh, let me know what you guys are thinking of this series. I, really, I do. I want to hear what you guys. If you guys are enjoying it, I, I want to know. So, anyway, until next time, guys. Stay classy.